All right. This is my second week messing around with some schematics written by Forrest Mims and uh, playing with some of his products. My first video talked about using the Electronics Learning Lab from Radio Shack. And this was also written by Forrest Mims and designed by Forrest Mims. And it's basically an electronics learning lab uh, kit with some basic electronics. You know, it's got a breadboard. It's got a real actual breadboard in the middle. Um, and it ties into some different voltages. It's got a battery pack in it. Uh, got a meter, a couple of things. So what I wanted to do today and what got me into this is I uh, came into it from the Atari Punk console perspective, uh, which was basically... This book, this Engineer's Mini Notebook, Timer Op Amp and Optoelectric Circuits by Forrest Mims, has a schematic in it called Step Tone Generator, and it uses a 556 chip and a few um, potentiometers, a couple resistors, capacitors, pretty straightforward. Um, but he's got this cool little note in here. Circuit produces sounds resembling plucked violin strings, etc. I think it's a little ambitious, but, you know, could probably get there from here. Really, really cool dude. He's got like a lot of good projects in this book anyway. So I decided to go uh, with his schematic to start with and see if I could implement it on the uh, learning lab. And so I had to special order this chip. Um, you know, or you can pick them up from Radio Shack or whatever. But I basically just went out and got all the stuff, went to Fry's or, you know, Radio Shack and got some jumpers and. So it basically, it comes with a decent set of uh, capacitors and resistors, but, you know, you can always add more. So what I got right now is basically Atari Punk consoles wired up. I'm using one of the potentiometers, this one meg one. And a, um, I didn't use the volume potentiometer, I skipped it. And I'm using a photoresistor, which comes on the, on the kit, and that's actually doing some... Um, waveform manipulation as well. So without further ado, I will also um, show you what uh, what I did here was I modified the speaker output. So there's a speaker actually built into this thing, but I'm sending it as a line out um, with some gator clips to my laptop. And I'm running a program called FT Scope. I don't know if you can see that, but FT Scope and it came with a, a kit, it's basically from, I think it's Rutgers, um, but I think they have PC software as well. So what I'll do here is I'll basically demonstrate what happens when I start to uh, dial in frequencies that you can actually see. Right now you're not seeing anything because this flashlight, it's not on, it's actually blocking all light from the uh, photoresistor. So here we go. I will start to take the light off and you can see how there's quite a bit of noise. I don't know if you can hear it. But uh, that's what it looks like. And I'm dialing in this potentiometer, and that is going to start spreading the, the, the pulse width of the frequency. So as I go from left to right, you'll see what that looks like. Also hear it. <laughs> And that is on its widest setting. So you can see it's it's a pulse width uh, modulation. And the flashlight control controls the top portion. So the, the dial that I just turned controls the bottom part of the wave. And the photoresistor controls the top. So as I move my finger over it, you'll see that modification. All I'm doing is move my finger over the photoresistor. As you can quickly tell, starting to make some really cool pulsy synth sounds just by controlling that frequency.
So that's pretty much it. Atari Punk console um, implemented on the Electronics Learning Lab and modified by a photoresistor and a potentiometer. And what's really cool is when you can run it through a scope and actually see the wave, you get some really good feedback as to what's happening. Coming from this little chip right here, this little dude. Not much to look at, but pretty freaking cool. Have a good day, and hopefully, look for more sounds coming soon. Yes, I mean, the coolest thing is, now that I got this thing jacked into my laptop, all I gotta do is open up Ableton, get a drum beat going, and have some fun. Alright, peace.